What is up awesome people and welcome back to my Pokemon trading card game card opening series. Alrighty, so in the last episode we started, well, we had a look at my X and Y boosters that I was meaning to open but hadn't got around to opening because forgot and lazy. The yellow woman, I'm lazy. <laughs> and I started opening up last episode. So in this episode we're going to finish off opening up the X and Y booster packs. There isn't an awful lot left. So if there's a little bit of spare time left at the end of the video, I'm probably just going to show off uh, one of the folders that I'm using at the moment. It would be no folder number four for that I use for my hollows and foils, so I keep them in mint condition and all that. Yeah, um, let's start off. So there's only a few, as I said, a few booster packs here left for the X and Y um, expansion. Um, so whether or not I'll open up any more after this is still a mystery. I may open up a few more since I haven't exactly covered an awful lot of X and Y. Um, yeah, I'll see how I feel about it after. Yeah, anyways, um, we're going to start with Skiddo, Pansia, Hone Edge, Spoink, Ponyhead. We have Cal Cassius as the Reverse Hollow, which is pretty cool. We have Rumpig as the Rare, Muscle Band, Wellipede, Cassius is normal, and that's the last card for that pack. Awesome. Muscle Band is really OP too, I like that. It's like a permanent plus power, so I can see why they got rid of the plus power card, which was been around since the very first, like, been around since the base set. So, RIP, a very old card. Okay, take that out. Ooh, I nearly flopped a turbo. Anyways, we got Pansir again, we got Honedge, Spoink, Ponyard, Jigglypuff, Mr. Mime Reverse Hollow, we got Tauros as the rare, Quilladin, Super Potion, Professor Sacramore, oh, that's the end. Damn, as I said, 10 cards seems like a lot, but when you're doing the opening, it's actually not that much. By the time you start doing it, it's already done. Ugh. Oh, well, that was nice and easy to open. I like some of them. Alright, so now we've got Skitty, we've got Fairy Energy, we've got Diglett, Chespin, Fighting Energy, Kukuna Reverse Hollow, we've got Simi Sage as the rare, Super Potion, Herdia, Great Ball. God damn it. I was hoping there would be one more card there. Ah, this is why I like opening up theme decks, because there's a lot of cards. It's a shame they're all duplicates. Alright, next up is Ladybar, Lilypup, Froakie, um, Sandile, Diglett, Rainbow Energy Reverse Hollow, which is cool, Rhydon is the rare, Sableye, Dodrio, and Whirlipede. It's funny how Rhydon and Rhyperia are both rare, and Rhyhorn is uncommon, I think he is, since you don't see an awful lot of it. Alright, next pack. I've got a bit of a pile of codes going here. Alright, so now we've got Simi Sage, a uh, Pan Sage, sorry, Fairy Energy. Venipede, Jigglypuff, Ladybar, Del Kenny Reverse Hollow. Oh, damn, I've got, got you. Ah, oh, look, Skarmory Full Art. Sweet! And we got Skarmory EX, I think, last episode as well. Nice! This was one that was a bit annoying to get. Um, sorry, it wasn't Skarmory EX that was hard to get. It was this one that was hard to get. It was the very last card I needed before I going on to the Reverse Hollows that I needed. Yes, um, same moves as the normal EX card. I quite like Full Art Skarmory EX, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool. Plus it's got that nice texture on it too, which is awesome. So that's going straight into my folder as soon as this episode finishes. We got Frogadier, uh, Mr. Mine, and Timber. Sweet, Full Art. Full Art, Full Art, Full Art. They're a pain to pull too, so it's, I always had that little excitement mode kick in every time I see a full art being pulled. Ah. Alright. 
one pack left after this and lots of cleaning up to do afterwards with all the plastic on the floor. Um, Jigglypuff, Shelda, Phantom, Steel Energy, Inkay, Raichu Reverse Hollow, Malamar as the rare. Oops, there's a that reverse hollow. Um, Sorok, Volbeat, and Delcaddy. Right, last pack. Ooh, I wonder what's in this one. Ooh, I left a card. Alright, last 10 cards. Right, so we got Talo, we got Timber, Pikachu, Darkness Energy, Weedle, we got Simipore Reverse Hollow, Go Go Hollow Rare, Illuminous, actually, what's the Hollow? Then we have Super Potion, Perdia. Aww, I wish there was another card there. Ah. Oh, well, we got Go Go, that's all good. Right, so sweet, that was a pretty cool pull actually. I'm um, gonna pull that full out straight into my folder because I don't want to waste any more time. The more f a card is out, the I get picky. Alright, right at the back, this is, it's number 145. So 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, and on the next page, 145. 145 out of 146. Awesome, right at the back you go. Awesome, so, and I'll put the rest in after the episode's done. Alright, so, I've got a bit of time to kill, so I'm just going to go grab him quickly. About behind me. Um, three folders I use. This is something that I think a lot of collectors do anyway. This is just my little method. Um, any duplicate um, foils or reverse hollows and all that. Um, I would do the collection, but there's just not enough room to put a, a massive A4 folder. So, this is what I do. This is all the um, duplicates that I've collected throughout my entire collecting um, career from 5th gen onwards. So I haven't got anything for 4th gen in here, I think. But as you can tell, these are all duplicate reverse hollows, full arts, hollows, anything fancy that isn't a normal card. So if it's reverse holo or whatever, it goes into this folder. Everything else just goes into tin, and if it's a first unique card that I pull, it'll go into another folder which I said is kind of too big to go onto camera so you guys can see. So yeah, there's an awful lot here, like there's... I'm onto my fourth folder now, which is quite a lot. I don't know how much these hold, um, but it's still really cool to know that there's... I've collected that many hollows and reverse hollows. And just grab that and flick over. So that's the first one. And they're really thick too once you start putting cards in. There's the next one. So I mean it kind of just brings back memories as well. I oh, look, there's my crooked a crocodile that I use in my dark deck. Dark clan from Bombas. I was wondering where that was. Is that a that's the theme deck one too. I'm surprised that's not in my folder. Huh. Very surprising. It probably is in my folder. I just haven't moved it correctly. Um, we've got Tornadoes Full Art there. There's a Thunderous Full Art. Uh, lots of special stuff in here. There's a massive Whale Lord. Yeah, that's from Dragon's Exalted. Heavy, heavy Ball there. Double colorous, prism energy. Oh, yuck, shiftry. Pinsir. Hey, is that from X and Y? Don't think so. Surely it's not from X and Y, Pinsir. Where is my X and Y cards? No, it's not X and Y, that's another one. I was going to say, that looks like the pincer from X and Y, but it's not. I had a little, um, bit of a meltdown there for a second. I'm like, oh, I just think I just stuffed it up. Is that the, no, that's not tool drop one. And then, 
Just when you think it's all over, there's another one. I think I was originally was going to put all my good ones into like one little folder. There's a Shaman Skyform EX. I think one day I'll sit down and I'll just make a whole folder just for EX cards and full arts and see how many I've got. I think there's another folder somewhere but god knows. Full art N. I thought that was a fourth gen. Actually, I think they're fourth gen cards. They don't look like normal cards. I think I am looking at it upside down. I could be wrong there. No, they are fourth gen cards. I didn't think there was any fourth gen cards in here, so that's ah, just proved me wrong. Reggie Gigas Full Art. Shed Ninja. And this is the one I've just moved on to. It's one I got for free actually when I was doing my card shopping and these are all the recent ones that I've just started putting in there so this is where all my duplicates go when I pull them um, if they're reverse holo, holo or just an EX card so they're all kept in nice neat condition there's my Charizard card, that duplicate that I pulled I think Magnazone may not have gone into this one they've gone into one of the other ones but yeah um that's all the card openings for now, folks. Um, I'm all out of booster packs and what are not card related. Um, so probably won't be for a while that I might put up another one of these. I've got to save a bit of money again, actually. These do cost quite a lot to actually do. Um, so yeah, probably in the meantime until then, I may do a digital online opening for Flashfire. I have been meaning to do that. Um, still waiting on codes for... Um, viewer appreciations in Sunday. Um, so yeah, I might just plan a flash fire opening for the online client. But besides from that, um, not sure what the next opening is. So just keep an eye out for my trading card openings. I'll probably put up a notice on Twitter if there's another one coming up or something like that. So keep an eye out for that. But until then, um, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!